What up everybody, it's your girl July from Kickback Couture and today I'm gonna show you how to make your song sound like it's underwater. July. So what we wanna do is navigate to our master section, which we can easily do by clicking there. And we're going to, we can do this two ways. We can do it as an insert effect or a send effect. Since it is reverb and we're putting it on the master section, I would do it as an insert effect because it's easier to modulate the wet, the dry wet knob of that insert effect than it is to modulate the send effect on every single channel. So. The reverb that I'm speaking of is located in Reason Sounds, actually uh, Factory Sounds. We're going to type in water. And the one we're looking for is called All Waterfall Verb. And now let's hear what our beat sounds like. Now the only thing we're missing is an EQ. My favorite EQ is Fab Filter Pro Q, although I believe that the easiest filter to automate is made by Synops. And you can do this with any any EQ actually, so we could even use Reasons EQ, the M class equalizer. Although I would like to automate a high cut which we cannot do in here so let's just grab the synopsis eq i was speaking of synopsis audio graphic eq and this is a rack extension you can use whatever you would like to my high cut is on and i'm going to bring it down and let's hear what this sounds like and we'll move it as we go along. Now what we want to do is add a resonant point. Let's go ahead and use point 4. We're going to move it about here and increase the Q a bit. And let's go ahead and bring up the gain. And let's hear what this sounds like now. So before, and after. We can even bring down this filter more. And the more we bring it down, the deeper it sounds like we're getting underwater. And the way we can automate this if we do decide to put this on the master channel is really simple. We're going to go into our reverb and we're going to click on edit automation on the dry wet knob. And we can do a couple things with this. We can either slowly, gradually come out above under the water. We can gradually, you know, lift up above the water level. I don't even know how to say that can't talk about swimming I'm not a swimmer we can gradually come out or we can just pop out so we notice that we're at 127 that is 100% wet so here and we can be dry by the time we come out basically so let's go ahead and make sure that we're at zero for the duration of our beat because in my case I only want this in my intro and let's hear how this sounds and we'll change it if need be
Okay, we also need to modulate the filter. So let's gradually bring this up as well. And we are talking about our high cut. So that is this edit automation. And we will also end up turning this off once we get out of this intro section. So it is enabled. We will make sure that it is disabled for the duration of the song. Let's go with uh, disable bypass. Yeah, there we go. All right, and then let's go ahead and make sure it's on in the intro. And then for our cutoff, we will draw another clip. In edit mode, it is at 466. So we will make sure that we get pretty close to that when we draw our point. And we will make sure this is at zero so that it doesn't play for our entire beat. If you look here, you'll see this line. That is the baseline for where the effect is for the entire beat. We don't want it at the entire beat. We want it off. Actually, we want this as high as it can be. So let's go with uh, 20 kilohertz. And it should move itself to the top. All right. And that's as high as we can go. 25.6 with this particular EQ. So we are going to modulate us coming back up to this point, which we can start moving up at about this point. And we should be golden because it will turn off anyway. So let's see what this sounds like. July. So there is our underwater effect. I will try again on one loop, just in case you would not like to use this on your master channel. I'm going to grab a loop by producer grind. Why not? And let's go into this one. Uh, let's get, here, I'll drag this into our sequencer. Let's go with this one. And this is just in case you only want this on one loop. It's a very similar process. So let's solo this. Let's navigate to it in the sequencer. I'm going to put this in its own rack. And once again, I'm going to grab that that reverb effect in uh, factory sounds, all effect sounds, I'm going to type in water. It's the all waterfall reverb. And let's hear what it sounds like. And now I'm going to use this filter. Since we're not on the master channel, we have access to the EQ. Let's go ahead and add this low pass filter. I'm going to bring it about here and then we will use this blue node and hold down option to adjust the Q and we will bring this up and let's hear what this sounds like. So really simple effect. It's easy to get started to creating. If you 
like this video, give it a like, comment down below, subscribe, and most definitely, let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kick back, and cook up.